Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. Blue Ocean Strategy is a business concept developed by Dr. W. Chan Kim and Dr. Renee Moborn. It offers significant value to businesses by providing a framework for sustainable growth, innovation, and competitive advantage. So what are the differences between the Blue Ocean and Red Ocean? What are the major principles of the Blue Ocean Strategy? Are there some real-world examples? In this video, I will discuss these questions with you. Section 1. Blue Ocean versus Red Ocean. Blue Ocean and Red Ocean are two contrasting business strategies that represent different approaches to competition and market creation. Here are the key differences between them. Number 1. Market Space. In a Red Ocean, companies compete within existing market spaces, fighting for market share and customers against established competitors. These markets are typically saturated, with limited growth opportunities. In contrast, in a blue ocean, businesses create new, uncontested market spaces by offering innovative products or services that cater to untapped customer needs. This approach allows companies to avoid direct competition and achieve sustainable growth. Number 2. Competition. Red Ocean strategies focus on outperforming competitors by capturing a larger share of existing demand. This often leads to intense competition, price wars, and diminishing profit margins. In contrast, Blue Ocean strategies emphasize creating new demand, rather than competing for existing demand. By offering unique value propositions and targeting non-customers, businesses can reduce competitive pressures and enjoy higher profit margins. Number 3. Value Creation. In a red ocean, companies often find themselves in a trade-off between cost leadership and differentiation. They must either compete on price or differentiate their offerings to stand out from competitors. In contrast, Blue Ocean strategies pursue value innovation, combining differentiation and cost leadership to deliver unique value to customers. This approach breaks the traditional trade-off and allows companies to appeal to a broader range of customers. Number 4. Customer Base. Red Ocean strategies target existing customers within the industry, aiming to win them over from competitors. In contrast, Blue Ocean strategies focus on reaching beyond existing demand, targeting new customers, and understanding their needs and preferences. This approach helps businesses expand their market and attract customers who have not yet been served by the industry. Number 5. Growth Potential. In a red ocean, growth opportunities are limited due to intense competition and market saturation. Companies often face diminishing returns as they struggle to gain market share. In contrast, in a blue ocean, businesses can achieve sustainable growth by creating new market spaces and tapping into untapped demand. By avoiding direct competition and focusing on innovation, companies can enjoy higher profit margins and a more sustainable competitive advantage. As you can see, the blue ocean approach aims to deliver unique value to customers, reduce competitive pressures, and achieve sustainable growth. Section 2. Principles. In general, there are six principles for the Blue Ocean strategy. Number 1. Value Innovation. This principle emphasizes the importance of creating new value for customers by pursuing differentiation and low cost simultaneously. Value innovation aims to break the traditional trade-off between cost and differentiation, offering a unique product or service that appeals to a wider range of customers. For example, Southwest Airlines pursued value innovation by offering low-cost air travel without compromising on the quality of service. The company eliminated non-essential services like in-flight meals and assigned seating, and focused on providing friendly service, fast turnaround times, and point-to-point -point routes. This approach allowed Southwest to offer lower fares while still maintaining customer satisfaction, differentiating itself from traditional airlines. Number 2. Eliminate Reduce Raise Create ERRC grid. The ERRC grid is a tool used to help companies identify which factors they should eliminate, reduce, raise, or create to achieve value innovation. By evaluating their current offerings and industry practices, businesses can rethink their approach and develop new strategies to differentiate themselves from competitors. For example, IKEA, the Swedish furniture retailer, utilized the ERRC grid to differentiate itself in the furniture market. IKEA eliminated salespeople and in-store assembly services, reduced product variety, raised the level of customer self-service and flat pack packaging, and created a unique store layout with model rooms for inspiration. This approach allowed IKEA to offer stylish, affordable furniture in a distinctive shopping environment. Number 3. Reconstruct Market Boundaries. This principle involves identifying new opportunities by looking beyond existing industry boundaries and considering alternative markets or customer segments. 
For example, Apple's introduction of the iPhone redefined the boundaries between mobile phones, music players, and personal computing devices. Instead of competing directly with existing mobile phone manufacturers, Apple created a new market space that combined communication, entertainment, and productivity features into a single device, appealing to a broader range of customers. Number 4. Reach Beyond Existing Demand By focusing on non-customers and understanding their needs and preferences, companies can expand their market by attracting new customers who have not yet been served by the industry. For example, Nintendo's YE game console targeted non-customers by offering a simplified gaming experience that appealed to people of all ages and skill levels. By focusing on casual gamers and families, Nintendo expanded the market for video game consoles and attracted customers who might not have been interested in traditional gaming systems. Number 5. Overcome Key Organizational Hurdles Implementing a Blue Ocean strategy often requires overcoming internal resistance and organizational barriers. To succeed, companies must foster a culture that supports change, innovation, and risk-taking. For example, when Tata Motors, an Indian automotive manufacturer, set out to create the Tata Nano, an affordable car for the masses, they faced numerous internal challenges, including cost constraints and skepticism about the feasibility of the project. To overcome these hurdles, the company encouraged a culture of innovation and collaboration, empowering its engineers and designers to find creative solutions for achieving the ambitious goal of producing a low-cost vehicle. Number 6. Build execution into strategy. Successful execution is critical for realizing the potential of a blue ocean strategy. Companies should align their resources, processes, and performance metrics with their strategic goals to ensure effective implementation. For example, Starbucks, the global coffeehouse chain, focused on creating a unique, consistent customer experience by investing in employee training, store design, and high-quality ingredients. By closely monitoring performance metrics, such as customer satisfaction and store sales, Starbucks was able to continuously refine its strategy and maintain its competitive advantage in the coffee market. Section 3. Real-World Examples here are another two real-world examples of companies that successfully implemented the Blue Ocean strategy. Example 1. Netflix. Netflix started as a DVD rental service, which differentiated itself from traditional brick-and-mortar video rental stores by offering a subscription model with no late fees and the convenience of home delivery. As technology evolved, Netflix transitioned to a streaming service, creating a new market space where they could offer a vast selection of movies and TV shows on demand, without the need for physical media or trips to a store. Netflix's value innovation came from its user-friendly interface, personalized recommendations, and affordable subscription pricing, which allowed it to stand out in the crowded entertainment industry. By focusing on streaming and original content, Netflix has continued to evolve and maintain its competitive advantage, capturing a large share of the online streaming market and attracting millions of subscribers worldwide. Example 2. Tesla. Tesla, an electric vehicle manufacturer, revolutionized the automotive industry by focusing on creating high-performance, luxury electric cars that offered an environmentally friendly alternative to traditional gasoline-powered vehicles. Tesla's Blue Ocean strategy involved identifying a new market space where they could offer innovative electric vehicles with compelling design, performance, and technology. Tesla's value innovation came from its focus on cutting-edge battery technology, charging infrastructure, and sleek vehicle design. By offering a unique combination of sustainability, performance, and style, Tesla was able to capture a new customer segment that was dissatisfied with traditional automotive offerings and desired a greener, more advanced transportation solution. Section 4. Summary. To sum up, the Blue Ocean Strategy is a business framework developed by W. Chan Kim and Renee Moborn that emphasizes creating new, uncontested market spaces, or blue oceans, rather than competing in existing markets, or red oceans. The strategy is built on six key principles. Number 1. Value innovation. Number 2. Eliminate reduce raise create grid. Number 3. Reconstruct market boundaries. Number 4. Reach beyond existing demand. Number 5. Overcome key organizational hurdles. Number 6. Build execution into strategy. All right, that's all for today's topic. If you have any questions regarding this video, please leave your thoughts in a comment below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.